Hello everybody, welcome back. Good morning. Let's have a look at oil to begin with. And I know this is like random. You're like, what's he doing that for? Oil on the monthly. Uh, Golden Cross, obviously, that was retested all the way back down here in uh, March 2023. Um, since then, it moved up to the top over here and we created a symmetrical triangle to which we're at the end of an apex of. Which really, you're kind of looking for a breakout or breakdown from this level. Now, a breakdown from this level gives you a really good opportunity to go along, which would be back down here at 66. I mean, that's a must have if that were to happen you'd take that opportunity big time but if it doesn't happen we break out if you're looking towards the top of the mouth over here which is going to be at 90 towards the upper 90s that would be the measured move for the breakout and then once that occurs i can tell you now that's effectively a trend for um, that would have begun at that stage on the on the, the medium and higher term time frames and we'd be looking for oil to creep its way back up to above 100 and higher uh, and the only reason i'm talking about oil isn't because i love it or i think it's the best thing or perhaps even able to you know trade it appropriately i, I would suggest that you know probably small positions on oil would probably be good certainly down at the lower 70s absolutely in the mid 60s um but it's because this is how i predict cpi aka inflation moving forward and there's a lot of talk, and I sound like a Burma bear at the moment, don't I? But there's a lot of talk about how oh, inflation's finished, rate cuts are coming, and they might be, they might be, but you know, they, they won't be cut for very long. Or if they do cut and uh, oil goes up, it's, uh, it's it's that's a bad combination, you know. That's not that is not what you want, because inflation will then creep up again, and you can't cut rates while inflation's going up, especially if we have a leading indicator for the CPI and inflation, which is effectively oil. Oil goes up, inflation goes up, filters through into the CPI four to six weeks later, um, and then you're like, okay, higher inflation, markets get spooked, what are you going to do? cut rates okay fine but you, you're just going to end up uh, having a repeat of what happened in 2022 if that's the case you know ignore the fact that inflation is going higher cut rates to try and stimulate the markets or whatever it is that you know you think you're doing and then end up with another massive bear market really so that, that that's something that we should think about and again that there's there's a lot of discussions taking place on the telegram i'm not around as much as i uh, would be normally because i'm away again but there's some really good analysis coming through from some of the members there and uh, talking about you know major bear market you know pending really not not something that could happen today or tomorrow or next week but you know there is one in the pipeline like a much larger one i alluded to it like last week showing the uh well i suppose the overheated nature of the s p when you zoom out onto a 12 monthly time frame you're like oh god right yeah that does look parabolic <laughs> you know you don't want to fomo into something that looks like that because it's on a higher term time frame the highest of all really a 12 month time frame you're like well when's this going to start well nobody has a clue nobody knows when things go parabolic they go parabolic they defy gravity until they run out of steam until the last penny goes in and then that's it the money comes out and uh, that's what i'll be looking for right so that is your oil so let's have a quick look at bitcoin and crypto as you know i suppose this is what we're all about really uh bitcoin on the four hourly managed to hit sixty five thousand dollars flat perfect actually perfect to the penny with a rejection there remember yesterday we've got a golden cross on the uh, exponential moving averages on the four hourly giving you a nice support if we were to drop down to around sixty one thousand two or three hundred at this point now and um, there's also a temporary support down here as well sixty three thousand two hundred and seventy three that's your bollinger band center they're all trending up so with the, every four hourly close they'll get higher and higher and higher which is good that's fine but if you lose them then all those other areas that i was speaking about yesterday and the day before <clears throat> yeah that's that's they, they will be more relevant with the lowest target so far maintaining the uh the, the bullish perspective on bitcoin of around about uh, 52 to 53,000. and again yeah i'm not going to repeat my video from yesterday if you want to watch that watch that video i talked about supports uh, and you know on the way down and why i think you know to not rule out something like thirty six thousand dollars um you don't want to rule it out i'm not saying you should wait for it uh, but it could happen so you've got to be prepared for it but right now lots of supports on the way down and we're not going to go straight down to the thirty-six thousand dollars. so don't worry about that now, ethereum is a slightly sadder story and um, we've got no golden cross we've just actually <laughs> this is so weak actually we've just hit our first attempt of a, of a death cross retest and that's where we've been rejected from Um that's exactly what happened here so it's pretty sad looking 
chart, to be honest with you, uh, lagging behind most other altcoins, Bitcoin obviously itself. And, and with this kind of setup, really, if anything, uh, this area that we're at right now, uh, 2,730, uh, if we get support on there, great, we'll have another attempt to run up to uh, the top area above 20, uh, 2,800. If we lose this area, uh, you know, just as you'd expect with any death cross, it's a V-shaped recovery in the opposite direction. Oh, I can't invert my scale here, which is unfortunate. But I like to do that, especially when we're doing Patreon streams, just so we can reassess our bias. We say, okay, this is our setup. This is the bearish setup. There's nothing else we can do about it. And we should just respect it and then expect it to be rejected and moved down to new lows. That's what we'd expect. There's nothing more about it than that. There's nothing more to say about it than that. 2,600, 2,500, and then maybe these areas down here, 2,003. And there may be a brand new low. So I'm not I'm not saying that that's definitely going to happen. But this is still a bearish setup, bearish rejection. If anything, that's where the shorts would stack and you'd be looking for it to come down further. So Bitcoin, despite having the golden cross, um, it still should come down to retest these lower zones. First tier, second tier. Unfortunately, if you're bullish on Ethereum, uh, you you know that, that you've you've definitely had a big spoonful of hopium this morning because this setup doesn't doesn't say anything about being bullish. It's, it's, this is just bearishness. This is what it is. Right. Thank you for watching. There's nothing much more to say. If you want to join the Telegram and the Patreon, there's links in the description below. All other than that, hope you have a nice day. Take it easy.